Good afternoon, folks. I had planned on diving deeper on some recent papers today, but we've got space weather ongoing, so the science articles will have to wait. First of all, we showed this earlier this morning, the plasma filament eruption. We had said we needed to wait for SOHO coronagraph images, but honestly, it is such a close call just looking at those. But NASA's Enlil spiral does suggest a glancing blow impact should occur on November 30th. It would be minor, but it likely will not be the only thing we get that day. A stronger eruptive event just happened a moment ago on the north. It was only a C-class flare, but it was long duration, and clearly, the coronal clearing indicates a CME eruption. SOHO will update this evening, and the forecast for the CME will be in tomorrow's news, but this one will almost certainly hit our planet, and we can tell that just by looking at it. In addition to two impacts set for the second half of the week, we are currently awaiting impact from the departing coronal hole stream, should be any hour now. That would be from the dark patch on the right side. And on the left, we see the next dark coronal hole, which will face Earth in about two days and impact us with solar wind this weekend. So we've got a coronal hole stream, two CMEs, and then another coronal hole stream. And we're currently monitoring a sunspot group on the south. This complex grouping has a delta-class magnetic field setup, which is when both positive and negative umbra are in close proximity and are interacting. That is a recipe for bigger flares. So, we've got an ongoing eruption watch, eruptions that are on their way to Earth, high-speed streams on their way to Earth, and we will update it all in the morning show. Be safe, everyone.